What's up, beautiful people? It's your girl Janaya Leah, and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So as you can see by the thumbnail and the title, today I'm installing these beautiful clip-ins on my bob length hair because who said a bob can't have clip-ins? Who said that? So today I'm about to show y'all a quick and easy way to install clip-ins on your short hair, your medium length hair. If you're like me, you have a blunt cut. I use this method time and time again on my short medium length hair. And I'm telling y'all, y'all are gonna love the results. And the hair that I'm using today is from Curls Queen Hair. This is their ombre balayage hair and it's in the texture light yakky. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. Okay y'all, so let's just jump right into it. The first thing I do is because I know I'm gonna wanna wear a middle part with these clip-ins, I'm parting my hair down the middle, which it was already down the middle, so I'm just kinda cleaning up that part. And then I'm going through and I'm gonna part out my leave out. And so the way I like to part out my leave out is I like to use a comb like this one that I'm currently using with like the steel tip. So that way, um, basically how I do it is as long as I can't see the tip as I'm parting, then that that means that it's enough hair so if you part out a section and you can still see your silver little comb tip through that then you need to part out some more hair that way you can make sure you have enough hair to cover the clip ends once they're all in your head so from there i like to put my hair in a little little small ponytail in the back of my head and when i do this ponytail i like to make sure it's basically as low as it can be and dang near like touching my neck okay and you want it to be super flat and super low because that's the way you can keep your ponytail from poking out and you having a hump in the back of your head. Because I promise with this method, you do not have a hump in the back of your head, okay? And starting off with the first two clip-ins, I like to do my first one as a two and then the second one is going to be the clip-in with three clips. And from there, I just, I basically just go side to side with the clips. So I went two, three, and then I did the one with five clips. And so I did the one with five clips because I knew that that was going to get me from one end of my hair to the other end of my hair. And so that's usually my goal when I'm doing clip-ins. And I personally feel like the way you can ensure that basically you'll get end to end on each row is I like to kind of measure out the clip ends ahead of time so as you can see right here before I even clip it in I'm trying to see okay hey you know does that line up no it doesn't let me go get grab another clip and do the same thing basically the similar technique to if you were measuring out tracks for a quick weave that's kind of how I do my clip in so instead of clipping it then figuring out okay I gotta unclip it no I'll just measure and then clip and so from there i'm literally doing that same thing the entire time and i like to kind of work my way up i've seen some people um work their way down i have done that in the past if i don't have enough clipping so say for example you order one pack instead of two then that's what i would recommend starting from the top of your hair so starting from the leave out and then working your way down so that way if you ran out of clip-ins and didn't complete your whole head it would be towards the back of your head and not the front which would still kind of give you like a full look and I love seamless clip-ins and I love this texture one because this texture literally blends so good with my natural hair and I love seamless clip-ins because they're literally so much flatter like oh my gosh it don't make no sense but with seamless clip-ins that's why you have to make sure like your placement is everything because if not these clip-ins will kind of give you a little humpty dump so you kind of have to play around with it maybe move it up or move it down a little bit to make sure you have a flat seamless placement okay and so we're on the last clip for this side but y'all i can already see just how flat it is and you want to do this just as you if you were doing a quick weave or a sew-in and you know what a quick weave or a sew-in you want to get that final track as close to the leave out as possible so that way the blend just eats and so that's what we're doing as y'all can see these final clip-ins girl they right there they're literally right next to the leave out okay boom and as y'all can see the install has literally been quick and seamless and literally do y'all see how flat that is like come on do y'all see how flat that is that's crazy and so now it's time to get into the blend which is literally my favorite part of any install blending my hair and this one was actually a new one for me trying to blend my hair with highlights and literally like blonde hair y'all but these clip-ins definitely came through and i think the fact that it was a light yakky texture helped a whole bunch so i start off by just going through and pressing my hair flat once again my hair is already straight of course but i'm just using a flat iron one more time to straighten it out and then instead of a comb i like to go through with my little bristle brush or whatever to really comb the hair down and so that way it doesn't snag on the clip-ins as you're going down 
and so from there i got my flat irons and i just went ahead and straightened it because the thing about um light yakky texture is it does not take a lot of heat and it does not take that much work to straighten this hair so as y'all can see i'm literally doing like super big parts but it was literally getting the hair straight and it was so freaking cute and honestly this texture actually blends really good with my hair in a blown out state but once again because we are blending it like with this ombre balayage blonde highlight color it's gonna take a little more work and a little more effort to get this blend but right now i'm just going through straightening it and i'm using really really big parts because this this is just the first step of the blending process so what you want to do next is get your favorite hairspray and i highly recommend honestly if you're going to wear it straight a free spray will do a very very good job at blending your hair but i know for me i like to kind of switch my styles around kind of like switch my parts so i want a good blend but i don't want like a permanent blend so i'm just using a lightweight brushable hairspray but if you really want your blend to eat get like the even the yellow even spray or even like a little bit of got to be and it's gonna blend it right in and from there i like to use my shark beauty um speed style attachment and this attachment uses like the coanda effect to basically flatten your hair down and tame some flyaways so if you don't want to use any product this is a good method to use to get your hair flat so here's the hair straight she's eating the girls up and now let's get into these curls when it comes to curls y'all get you an automatic curler i love this one is the wavy talk automatic curler i bought it off like tiktok shop but um beach waver also has a really good one and i just love automatic curlers one because when you're dealing with long hair like this like we're talking like 18 inches girl who's trying to do all that who's trying to do all that and so i feel like the automated curler gives me the exact same curls that i would have got with the curling iron just literally a fraction of the work so i'm just going through and spraying each piece with a little bit of that um brushable hairspray or working spray or whatever and i'm curling my hair point blank period and so i'm gonna finish curling my hair and i'll show y'all how i'm curling my hair in depth and then we gonna finish getting into this blend
So once you're done styling your hair, like I said before, the secret to a good blend is either a freeze spray or a really good hairspray. My favorite hairspray is the one that I'm using right now, which is a Sebastian Reshaper hairspray. And you can find this at Ulta or on Amazon. And it's a really, really good hairspray. So I sprayed that one on my curls, even though I'm brushing them into waves, it's still going to help hold those curls. And then I also like to spray it onto my leave out because this is the before, right? And this is literally the after from when I spray the spray and literally comb my leave out down and it blends into the weave seamlessly. Okay y'all and so for the final method of this tutorial it's just going to be like the basic clip in install method basically where all of your hair is left out and you're literally just going through row by row and parting and adding a clip in and basically the way I install this I use essentially the exact same clip ins but obviously this time I'm parting through my hair and I feel like because I have a blunt cut more is definitely less so if you do have short hair if you know like you'll have a hard time blending your natural hair with the clip-ins and I highly rec recommend using as many pieces as you can it's going to give you a really really full look but it was going to be full anyway since you have all your hair left out but in order to get a really good and seamless blend and make sure all of your hair is covered up or blended with the hair is recommended that you just use more pieces and when I'm doing this, even though all of my hair is left out, I still like to keep that section at the very top of my head of where I know my part is going to be. So I like to separate that ahead of time and keep that separated. So that way I kind of know what I'm working my way up to. And then just as a little pro tip, if you want the hair to kind of um, blend with your leave out a little better and also kind of flow into your face a little better, I like to kind of angle my clip ins upwards as i'm blending them up so you'll kind of see like at the ones as they're going towards my forehead they're kind of like at a little angle and so that just kind of helps um the clip-ins just blend with your leave out better and also it gives you a little more coverage like on your face if you were to do something like curtain bangs or whatever and another benefit of ordering two packs instead of one is one you get to use more pieces so you get more coverage but also i noticed that these clip-ins they came with a lot of like two clip pieces so you know like all the pieces have a certain number of clips some have five some has four uh three and two and so i feel like i really like the two clip pieces as you get to the front because the thing about seamless clip-ins is because of the way they're made they can't really curve as much as like you know the old school clip-ins could so sometimes like when you curve you may have like a little lump or a little hump or whatever but that's where i like to go in as i'm getting closer to the top and to my leave out i like to go in and kind of fill in those gaps with the two clip pieces but because they're shorter they don't really have as many gaps and you can use those to kind of fill in the blanks um as you get closer to the top of your head and just as another tip, I'm pretty sure I mentioned this while we were doing the last method, but as I'm working my way up to my leave out, I like to make sure when I'm doing, when I'm laying like the final clip ins, laying the final tracks, I like to make sure I can get as close as my leave out or as close to my leave out as possible. So just as you would during like a sew in, a quick weave, whatever, as y'all can see, that last clip in is literally going to be right on my leave out. So that way when I go to blend, I'm not really having a hard time and it's like super duper easy to go ahead and blend and everything lays flat and smooth and it's just a seamless install overall. And so once I'm finally done installing, it's time to blend. And honestly, I personally feel like this way is a little bit easier to blend in your natural hair just because you already have some of your natural hair out. So the color is like already there, but also the texture helps a lot. Like I mentioned in the beginning, this is the 18 inch light yakky. So literally this texture blends with my hair blown out. Even though my hair is straight right here, I've worn this texture before and my hair was literally blown out and it was amazing. So I'm just literally using my shark speed style, speed style attachment and that's just kind of helping me straighten my hair out a little bit and tame some of the flyaways and y'all that's literally all it took to blend my natural hair with these extensions like what and as i mentioned before you can also use like a really lightweight um oil to add a little bit of shine or you can also use like a hairspray to kind of blend your hair in further but y'all literally look at this blend and also look at this color like i've always wanted to try highlights and i feel like these clip-ins literally just did it for me they're so freaking pretty the texture is literally amazing and when i tell y'all this install was so full it literally felt it this hair is bomb okay this hair okay y'all literally get into this final look honestly 
these clip-ins turned out way cuter than i expected like i expected them to be cute but i did not expect them to be this cute like this is really is giving is giving so hopefully this tutorial really helped y'all inspired y'all girl do not let the bob the blunt cut the short hair hold you back because it is very 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 possible to get a cute clip and install on short hair and so for anybody that's interested in purchasing these clip-ins the link to this hair will be in the description box down below it is from curls queen hair so thank y'all so so much for tuning in you already know click smash smack that subscribe button down below and i will see y'all on my next video yeah, yeah, yeah.